Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not welcome back, we are very happy to have you join us. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Today I want to talk about why I use pen and paper to make my notes. Now yes, I do use OneNote on my computer, but I also keep a hard copy of the important things. Now I could just print straight from OneNote, but come on people, you know, you know I'm a cheapskate. So using what I have rather than spending money on print paper and ink and electricity just makes sense. Now we have a pile of paper for note taking and we have a bunch of pens and pencils. Now most of the paper is left over from the kids school. That's like years, 10 years or more since Hannah left school. There was a lot of paper they had to have that they didn't use. <laughs> At the end of every year, I'd go through their school bags and anything that couldn't be used the next year was put into my stationery cupboard. I'd, you know, rip out the used sheets and shred them because, you know, they were no good for anyone. So I'd shred them and add them to the worm farm or the compost pile. And then I'd put the clean paper away to use. Now... Those exercise books were cheap too. They were from the good old days when Officeworks had the one cent exercise books in the back to school sale. And wow, we had heaps. Now I love them. They work for the kids and now they're working for me. Pens are the same. I save them. Wayne brings home oh, at least a new pen four nights a week. He's given them wherever he's working, he puts them in his pocket, he brings them home, he takes them out of his pocket and puts them on the table. I pick them up and put them in the desk drawer. I don't buy pens and I don't buy pencils. It's a saving, a little saving, but it's a saving. So why do I insist on having hard copies of my lists and important notes? Well, that's simple too. Technology is great and keeping notes on phones or tablets or computers is, I will admit it, very, very handy. But those things can stop working. Your data can be lost. Your information can be lost. Now, yes, you can save to the cloud and access it from anywhere on any device. And that sounds great in theory. But as we've seen over the last couple of months, yeah, not so secure. Although, mind you, anyone that wants to copy my shopping list, go for it, guys. But the cloud isn't immune to failure and it's not immune to hacking. We've seen that. And I honestly don't keep anything of any real value or interest to anyone but me in the cloud or even on my computer. And I keep nothing on my phone other than a couple of phone numbers and a couple of short shopping lists. Now, it's not that I'm a Luddite, although you might be thinking I am. For the most part, I like the way technology makes my life easier, makes it run more smoothly. But I'm also basically lazy, I'm first to admit. And I do not ever want to have to rewrite my lists or hope my memory is true for important numbers and papers and locations because technology can fail. It can be a hardware failure. It can be a software failure. It could even be a complete grid failure caused by an EMP. And it's the scuttlebutt about impending EMPs that has me thinking about how you store your lists and if you'd be able to access them if, for whatever reason, the internet went down. Now, I have lists for most things. I have shopping lists. I have pantry inventory, freezer inventory, lists of the medicines we take, clothing and shoe sizes for all the family. I have the gift um, list and the gift inventory. 
I have a list of items ordered that haven't yet been delivered, lists of information that's important to my family. I have address lists, email lists. I've got to-do lists for the house and the garden and for cheapskates. I have to-do lists for our holidays. I actually even have a to-do list for this channel. <laughs> but it's not just lists of inventories or things to do because I have a lot of recipes that I use all the time. Those I can mostly remember. But there are also lots of recipes I only make occasionally. And my memory may not always be accurate, so I have them saved. But I also have them written or print, printed and put into my recipe book. Because if those are lost, having to find them again, well, that could make our meals a little interesting, to say the least. I have lots of patterns and templates saved too. They're things that I use to make gifts, things to make for our home, things to add to Home Among the Gum Trees. I rely on them for the details when I'm creating and crafting. So if any of those lists were to disappear, I would be lost. If all of those lists disappeared, I'd really be up the creek without a paddle. Life as I know it <laughs> would become chaotic. It would be hard. It would be miserable. So that's why I run hard copies. In the case of an EMP, who knows whether that will ever happen or not, or the internet going down for any length of time, or even just losing power so I can't use my computer or tablet or my phone, I can still access my lists. I can still... Um, access the information I need to run our home, to run the Cheapskates Club, to run this channel. If you rely solely on a device to store your lists, consider at least keeping a hard copy of the most important ones. You don't need to handwrite them. You can print them and put them in a binder. You can print them and tizzy them up. You can glue them into an exercise book. Or, you know, just put a paper clip on them and keep them together. Put them in a kitchen drawer. Somewhere you will be able to hand, get your hands on them in an emergency, in a crisis, if you need to. A shelf in the bookcase. Doesn't matter. Just do it for your peace of mind, because I can tell you it gives me a whole lot of peace of mind knowing, doesn't matter what happens, I've got my lists. Before I go, thank you so much for watching and staying all the way through and for subscribing, because you have subscribed, haven't you? It's easy, just click that little button. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you do, if you start that comment with, lists I'll know you've watched all the way to the end now I read every comment and I do my best to answer any questions you may have if you put your questions in um, all capitals they stand out so I'm more inclined to find them um, and answer them for you I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you and if you know someone who might like this video just click on that share button to send them the link Three simple things, like, subscribe and share. They help our channel grow and they make it easier to find and the easier it is for our channel to find, uh, be found, the easier it is for people to know that they can live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, even in today's crazy, mixed up, expensive world. Have a great week, everyone, and happy cheap skating.